We're looking for horse neck clams today, and I know where there's a big one. Follow me. Those clams are pretty shallow here. They're only down about two feet, so it's pretty easy digging. So hopefully, this is gonna be a four clam dig. I feel a clamp. Okay, put it down the tube. Right down there with me. Nope. I can't reach it yet. He's in there, I feel him. He's big too. Every no matter what angle I get, I touch him. Yep, he's right there. All right, I should be able to get them this time. Holy cow. We got another Washington. Those are nice. Those are good eating clams there. Don't have a clue how you eat them though, but I'm gonna find out. Hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking this guy's gonna live. I can touch him. Oh. There he is. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Wow. Caught his neck with a shovel, but he'll be good eating. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to soak these clams in a bucket of fresh water right here and we're going to give them about 8 to 12 hours soak. Uh, that kills the clam. It also loosens up the skin on the neck and it makes it just fall off. Uh, makes the clams easier to clean, open up. Okay. So now we're going to show you how to clean a clam. It's pretty interesting. They've been soaking in uh, fresh water now for about 12 hours, so they're about half dead. Uh, still going to have to put them in warm water to get the skin off. Zoom in on it a little bit. And you cut the end of the neck off. If you cut it off here, you still have purple. You want to go to where there's no more purple, so that's about perfect right there. Seagulls love it, and then we drop this into water, which gets rid of the sand. And here you got a couple different meats. You got the muscle meat and the lip meat. So all of that is good meat. That's all good to eat. Okay. And then hold it up here a little higher and come back out as we do another one. Now get rid of as much sand as possible. And now you want to peel the skin off of the neck. Just like that. And like that. Now, from there, cut the neck that way, hold it open, cut it that way. Two reasons for doing that. That's the perfect size for frying and also gets rid of all the sand. And there you go. There's your clam strips. Now when we go to fry it, we'll cut it in half one more time like that. Put it in flour, a little garlic salt, and fry them up. That's it. You ready to do the next one, Jason? 